Now let us discuss about Yevo star algorithm with the help of an example and algorithm. Yevo star algorithm is informed search algorithm. So that means here an extra knowledge is required. So here mainly heuristic functions are needed. Yevo star algorithm is an extension to A star algorithm. Evo star algorithm is a best of us search algorithm. So that means here also we will explore, we will generate a set of nodes. Out of all the nodes, we are going to select the best node. So best node means the node which is producing the minimum cost. So that's why we can say that Evo star algorithm is a best of us search algorithm. Evo star algorithm uses the concepts of and or graphs. So A O, so here A means and, O means R. So A O star algorithm uses the concepts of uses the concept of under graphs, and here we will use this a concept called problem reduction. Problem reduction. So problem reduction means the given complex problem will be divided into several sub problems. And each sub problem will be solved separately. So that is the point here. Evo star algorithm uses the concept of under graphs to decompose any complex problem into a smaller set of sub problems which are further solved. Okay. Now let's see an example followed by the Evo star algorithm. This is the given graph. So A is the root node. A childrens are B, C, D. This is R graph. Whereas this R represents and graph. We are going to perform and operation on two nodes. Here we are performing and operation on C and D. Next B childrens are E and F. Here B heuristic function is B heuristic function is four. So that means from B to goal node. The cost is four. Likewise, C heuristic function is two. D heuristic function is three. So the cost from node D to the goal node is three. So likewise, E, F, G, H, G, H. If you see here, H and I. So here, these nodes are called as terminal nodes. If we reaches these two nodes, then we can call these nodes as solved nodes. So J J is one. So we are going to solve this problem here. So let us solve the problem. So first, what is the root node? Y. So we need to start yet the root node Y. So what are the childrens of Y? B C D. So here this is nothing but R graph, whereas this R represents and graph. So we need to determine F of. Here also, in order to calculate the cost. We use s f of n equal to g of n plus h of n, just like a star algorithm. Here also we are going to use this formula only. So g of n means the cost from initial node to current node, whereas h of n means heuristic function. Heuristic function means the cost from current node to the goal node. Okay. So let us start from a. So f of A to B, we have to determine the cost. F of A to B equal to here the edge cost is one. Okay, A to B edge cost is one. Next A to C edge cost is one. A to D edge cost is one. B to E, B to F, C to F edge cost is one. Okay, so F of A minus B equal to so here we are computing for B. So G of B plus H of B. So what is G of B? G of B means The cost from initial node to the current node. So what is the cost? One is the cost. So one plus what is h of b? H of b means this heuristic function value that is four. So one plus four means five. One plus four means five. Okay. Five. Next we have to determine f of a to c d. F of A to C to D. 
So now we have to calculate this H and this H. This is nothing but and graph. Okay. So what is the formula G of for this node G of C plus H of C next plus for this node G of D plus H of D. So what is G of C? 1. So 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 means 3. Next what is G of D? 1 plus what is H of D? 3. So what is the value now? 1 plus 1 2, 2 plus 2 4, 4 plus 3 7. So here the value is 7. So here f of a minus b cost is 5, f of a to c d cost is 7. So out of 5 and 7, which is the minimum value? So 5 is the minimum value. So we need to select b. So in the next step, we have to explore this path. Okay. f of b to e equal to, we need to find the cost from b to e. So now the initial node will become b. Whereas the current node will become E. Now the initial node is not A. Whereas in, in, A, in A star algorithm, the initial node is always A. But here the initial node will change us. Okay. Now the initial node is B. Whereas the current node is E. Okay. F of B, ka, B to E equal to. So we need to explore this path now. So F of B equal to. So we need to calculate G of E plus H of E. What is G of E? The cost from B to E, that is 1. What is H of E? The heuristic function of this value, H of E, that is 6. So 1 plus 6 means 7. 1 plus 6 means 7. Next, we have to determine F of BF. So F of BF means, B to F means, G of F plus H of F. So what is G of F? The cost from initial node to the current node, that is 1. So 1 plus 8 means 9. 1 plus 8 means 9. So now <coughs> the cast from B to E is 7. The cast from B to F is 9. So out of 7 and 9. So which is the smaller value? 7 is the smaller value. Out of 7 and 9, 7 is the smaller value. So now that 7 will be replaced by 4. What is the heuristic function of B? 4. So now we have to replace that 4 by this best value. What is the best value here? 7. So replace this 4 by 7. Now, now we need to determine the cost of A. Now we need to determine the cost of F of A to B. Why? Because now this heuristic, the heuristic value of B changed. So now we have to back propagate this information to its parent node. So that means we have to determine F of A to B cost now. So what is F of A to B cost? So here G of B plus H of B. So what is G of B? 1. What is H of B? 7. So here after determining the cost, we have to back propagate this cost to its parent node. So 7 plus 1 means 8. 7 plus 1 means 8. So now we can say that this path is over. This left hand side path is over. So now we have to explore this path. Now we have to explore this path. So first let us explore C and then explore D. Okay. Why? Because here we use this undergraph. So undergraph means we need to focus on both the nodes. So if you observe here. So first here we have to determine F of C to G. F of C to G means G of G plus H of G. What is G of G? 2. So 2 plus 1 means what is the cost? 3. So likewise what is f of ch? Here the heuristic value is 0. So here we reach 0. So that means this node is solved. So what is the cost here? 0 plus 1. This heuristic value is 0. <coughs> we have to add the edge cost. So 0 plus 1 means 1. Yeah this graph is what? This graph is undergraph. This is not our graph. So undergraph means we need to focus on both the edges. So 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1. So that is nothing but 2. So here the edge cost is 2. The cost of this arc is 2. So out of 3 and 2, which is the minimum value? So 2 is the minimum value. So the 2 will be replaced by this value. What is the heuristic function of C? 2 only. So there is no need of any replacement. Now let us focus on this D. Let us find out the cost from D to J. 
so this is r r r graph only okay so one plus the heuristic function of j is one so one plus this edge cast is one so one plus one means two so now this three will be replaced by two why because one plus one means what two this three will be replaced by two if you see here the edge cast of this the heuristic function of c is two whereas the heuristic function of d is also two so two two so same only whereas if one value is two another value is one then the smaller value will be replaced okay so here two plus two means what two so this is which graph under graph so under graph means we will focus on both the edges both the vertices so let us find out the cast now we so two plus what is this node cast two plus two means four so four plus one means five five plus one means six five plus one means six so now this seven will be replaced by six why because now the cast of a c d is six this c is two this d is two so two plus two means four four plus this edge cast is one this edge cast is one so four plus two means six so so now we can say that h i and h and i are solved nodes why because here we reached h and i we reached the terminal nodes these two are terminal nodes okay so now out of 8 and 6 what is the minimum value 6 is the minimum value so we can say that here the minimum cost is 8 the minimum cost is 8 is the minimum cost so in this way we can solve the problem very very easily very very easily so here we can say that the best path is f of this is the best path here we got 8 here we got 6 so here we got the cost a c d so based on a c d so the 6 the 6 is nothing but the edge cast of acd so we can say that acd is the best path here with the cast 6 now let us see an algorithm to implement this problem now let us see a bostar algorithm totally we have six steps are there first step start from the root node so we know that initial node is considered as the root node second step expand the most promising node in order to find the most promising node use heuristic value to decide which node to explore so here we are going to select the most promising node so most promising node means best node so in order to find the best node we are going to calculate f of n f of n equal to g of n plus h of n so h means heuristic value whereas g g of n means the cast from the initial node to the current node so based on f of n value the most promising node that is the best node will be taken step 3 update the cast of each path so after finding the cast so we have to update the it by the new value okay next to fourth step mark solved nodes so if we after calculating the cast at the bottom if we get a terminal node whose cast is zero then we can mark those nodes as solved nodes okay so let we got g and h g cast is 0 h cast is 0 we reach g and h so we can mark these nodes as solved nodes next step backtrack and update the cast so after finding the cast we need to back propagate that information to its previous its parent information so by adding 1 to it repeat until the solution is found so we have to repeat this process until we will get the solution so this is about a oster algorithm please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching